Bob one. We'll watch another legacy trailer reaction leading up to the Fast X trailer coming out this Friday, which will be in three days. As for the movie, only in theaters May 19th, 2023. Also, why am I wearing a hood? Uh, probably have mentioned this already, but if I have, then I might as well mention it again. Um, if I'm wearing a hood, it's because I have a bad hair day. But yeah, uh, we're about six down, three more to go. And then we have the Fast X trailer, which, like, I'm just getting hyped up. And honestly, I'm, like, wanting to watch the Fast and Furious movies, but I'm, like, trying to save them for my movie reactions, mainly for two to six. I've, I've only seen one, seven, eight, nine. I've already mentioned this too many times. Let's just, you know what? Let's just cut the chit chat and just watch the trailer. <laughs> now, obviously, I have seen this movie. Good lord. Ah, uh, rest in peace, Paul Walker. Oh, this is where Hobbs and Shaw first met. I I knew he was going to say that. Period seven. In three days, then the road begins. Oh man. Uh, as I mentioned in my um, I don't know when I mentioned this, but I mentioned this in one of my Fast and Furious Legacy trailer reactions. Um, I think as of me for right as of right now, I think Furious Seven is like the best Fast and Furious movie for me. Now my opinion mo will probably most likely change once I watch Fast Five in May, but just, so the reason why is just because this was basically his last movie, unless it was Furious, not, uh, unless it was Fast and Furious 6, but it's a tribute to Paul Walker, somehow, but just mainly by the end, and I recently was watching the ending, and <laughs> I think I got chills, but just, it is such a bummer that he's passed away, and who knows if he'll show up in the 10th one, because they could do that CGI thing that they did with this one. I don't know if he was... If they No way. They probably didn't even... He probably wasn't even in 7. I don't know. It's the other way around or something. I'm not too sure. I, I, I can't I can't remember which one it was. Whether he was last... Like, his last movie was in the 6th one. And he filmed a little bit of 7. But I think it was mainly in 6. I would have to double check. But just... Yeah, as of me right now, I think Furious 7 is the best. But... Like I said, my opinion could change, because as I've heard, Fast Five is the best in the franchise, so... Yeah, I'm curious to know why, once I cover a movie reaction for that in May. As I cover a movie reaction for Too Fast, Too Furious, The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious, Fast Five, and then Fast and Furious 6. Because no need to do movie reactions for Furious 7, The Fate of the Furious, and F9, because... One, I've already seen Furious 7 at home, so I don't ever recall seeing that in theaters, which honestly is a shame. As for number 8, I do recall seeing that in theaters with my mom. As for 9, I do recall not only seeing that in theaters with my dad, but also covering a movie vlog for it. So yeah, what I will be doing is reviewing all 9 films in prep for Fast and Furious 10, aka Fast X. But as always, I'll see you guys by the end of the road in 3 days. Peace out. Oh, got friends. I got family. How was that? And this time I didn't even sink in the audio.